This is the first of two examples that I'll be doing to show you how to add rational expressions when you don't have a like denominator. Now the first thing that you always want to do is you want to take those denominators and you want to factor each one of those denominators as much as you possibly can. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2a over a squared minus 1 is the difference of two squares and that's going to be a plus 1 times a minus 1. And then with my other fraction over here that's going to be 1 over and then a squared plus a I can write as a times a plus 1. So what I need to do is I need to look and I need to find the LCM for those two denominators. So let me insert a page here. So my two denominators LCM for a plus 1, a minus 1, and for my other denominator, it was a times a plus 1. So those are my two separate denominators, and I need the LCM for each one of those. So, first of all, the LCM tells me that I at least need this first piece right here. So I at least need all that. So I at least need a plus 1 times a minus 1. And then I need anything new that I pick up over here. Well, I already have my a plus 1, so I don't need that one. But I do not have a factor of a by itself, so I need the a. So my LCM is going to be a times a plus 1 times a minus 1. That's the first step always, is make sure you get that LCM. Okay, so I'm going to build each one of my fractions back over here to have that same denominator. So I need my first fraction here to have a denominator of a times a plus 1 times a minus 1. And then I need my second fraction over here to have a denominator of a times a plus 1 times a minus 1. So we're just comparing. We're comparing what we have to what we're missing. So what I already have is I already have an a plus 1, already have an a minus 1. Already have a plus 1, already have a minus 1. What I'm missing is that factor of a. So I have to multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by the factor that I'm missing, which is a. So the denominator we don't touch. The denominator is just a times a plus 1 times a minus 1. What I do have to do is I have to multiply my numerators together. So over here on the side, I have to do 2a times a. And 2a times a is going to give me 2a squared. We always have to multiply up top. So 2a times a is going to give me 2a squared. Same thing over here. I look and I see and I compare. I already have, I need, I already have a, a plus 1. I already have a, a plus 1. What I'm missing is the a minus 1. So I need to multiply this fraction, top and bottom, by what I'm missing, which is a minus 1. So 1 times a minus 1 is going to give me a minus 1. So there's my new problem. Oops, sorry about that. There's my new problem. My new problem is 2a squared over a times a plus 1 times a minus 1 plus a minus 1 over a times a plus 1 times a minus 1. Once you do that, you're back to the same idea that we've discussed before, which is you have a like denominator. So once we have that like denominator, then we want to write down that denominator. So we're going to write down my denominator of a times a plus 1 times a minus 1. And then I'm going to add my numerators together. When I add my numerators, I get 2a squared plus a minus 1 when I add those together. So the steps never change. You get your LCM every single time, and then you come and you see what are you missing in each one of those fractions. My first fraction, I was missing a. My second fraction, I was missing a minus 1. So I have to multiply numerator and denominator by that value. So I'm just basically multiplying by 1. And the denominator is already built, so I built it to be a, a plus 1, a minus 1. So what I have to technically multiply out is I have to multiply out my numerators. I had to do 2a times a to give me 2a squared, and I had to do 1 times a minus 1, which gives me a minus 1. So after you have added your numerators, the last thing that you always do is you ask yourself, can you factor and can you reduce this at all? So i got to check and i got to see, and in this case I can, because I can factor 2a squared plus a minus 1. And my denominator, just going to write down, is a, a plus 1 times a minus 1. So my numerator. I have to get 2a squared, which the only way I can get 2a squared is with a and a. And the only way I can get 1 in this case is with 1 and 1. 
and I want to get a negative 1 when I multiply, which tells me my signs, and these two parentheses are going to be opposite signs. And I'm going to get a, a 1 when I multiply, and I want to get a negative 1 when I multiply, and I want to get a 1 when I add. So since I need to have a negative 1 when I multiply and a positive 1 when I add, I'm going to put a plus 1 there and put a minus 1 there because whenever I do my outside and my inside terms, I'm going to get a positive 1a out of that. If you multiply it back out, you'll see 2a times 1 is 2a and one, negative 1 times a is negative 1a. And if you subtract those two or add them together, either way you want to think about it, you get um, a in the middle there. All right, so I factor, and then my last step is I cancel anything that I can. And I see that I can cancel my a plus 1, I can cancel my a plus 1. So what I'm left with is 2a minus 1, with or without the parentheses. In the denominator, I have a times, and I have to put the parentheses around the a minus 1, since I have the factor of a out there multiplying it. Steps never change. You've got to find the LCM. Multiply each one of those fractions by what you're missing, to build both of them to have the same denominator. And then you want to multiply your numerators respectively when you're building them. And then after you've multiplied your numerators together, then you want to add them. So be careful about that. When I say multiply my numerators, I mean I'm multiplying these two pieces together to get 2a squared. And I'm multiplying those two pieces together to get my a minus 1. So that's a first example. And I want to do one more just to kind of illustrate some of the same concepts and give you two good examples to go by.